So hopefully I can do make this video in a decent amount of time. I feel like lately I've been like a chatty patty and my videos are super long and it's already starting out to be overly chatty. Okay, I'm going to stop. Um, I'm going to use a new product that I got. I actually got it today. Um, it is from a company called Narcisse. It's a skin vitalizing essence. It comes like this. Um, you can spray this on your face. Uh, from what I read about this, you can spray it on your face at any time. I'm really curious to see how this works on acne. My son has acne on his back really bad, so I want to try and use this on his back to see if it helps to clear up his acne because if you go to Amazon and look at their <clears throat> the product, they feature three pictures, two older women and someone with acne, and it says after I think it was like 10 days of using this every day, the acne started to clear up. So I'm really curious to see how well this works on his back. Um, the details of this product, anti-wrinkle skin vitalizing spray, whitening, moisturizing, whitening, moisturizing, revitalizing, multi-effect with a simple spray, acne solution, and natural ingredients. Um, and then it also says, fills the empty crevices of your skin with collagen lifting, stretches the epidermis of your skin to clear it of wrinkles, and revitalizes, cleans out the capillaries of your cells so that the cells may receive nutrients with more efficiency repairs damaged and stressed tissues, does not conflict with other skin care products and is easy to use. A simple spray any time of day. The company that sent this to me, they didn't send me any info. Like normally companies will send me information on the product so that I can speak to it better. Uh, but I'm, I'm basically just reading off of what Amazon has to say about this. Now this product is not cheap. Uh, $99.95 plus shipping. So um, but I'm going to try this out today. It says just to spray it on your face and let it dry. It says hold the product six, six inches from your face, spray on your face three times, use every morning and evening, and whenever you feel dry on your face. Once you apply the spray, allow it to dry without touching. So here goes. And it is fragranced. If you have sensitivities to like fragrance, you may not like this. Um, it's not overly powerful, but it does have a fragrance smell to it. So I'm gonna try this out. Like I said, I'm gonna try it on my son's back and see how well it works out. And then I will kind of do a follow-up video to let you guys know if I like it, if it has helped his back. It is supposed to kind of help whiten your skin and clear out redness. Now, one thing I've always complained about are these capillaries at the base of my nose. Maybe it'll help with those, who knows, I don't know. But today is, and this video won't go out today, but today is June 1st. So I'll give it a couple weeks and see how it goes and then kind of get back to you guys at a later time. I'm gonna prime my face. I'm gonna use my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I'm trying to use this up. I have my Lancome one, but I kind of jumped the gun when I got that one. So I wanna finish up using my Smashbox. I'm using all these products to like um, even out my skin tone. When I'm 60, I'm probably going to have the thinnest skin in the world. All right, so the next product that I'm using is a new product. It was sent to me from a company called Jacqueline Caleb. It is a little foundation brush. It's a tiny guy, isn't it? This is what it looks like. So I was sent some information on the brush. I quite literally just got this yesterday. I wanted to wash it before I used it of course. So um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the brush. It's a synthetic bristle brush. Um, it's good for applying foundations. The good thing about synthetic bristles is that you don't have to use as much product because um, unlike natural bristle brushes, the synthetic bristles won't absorb so much of the foundation, which is always good. The brush is good for buffing and it's good for, I, f I feel like it would be really good for contour. The information that I receive on it says that it's good for, you know, moisturizer, contour, blush, bronzer, uh, your concealer. So I'm going to kind of test this out today and see how well it performs. So I'm going to use my Dior Nude Air foundation with this. Um, the one thing about this brush that I read, the information that I read on this, is that not only can you buff with it, but you can also stipple product in with it. You can sort of like paint the product on if you want to. So I just put a little bit of the foundation in the on the brush. And I'm just going to start at the center of my face and work outward. The reason that the handle is so short is because um, it's designed for people to get close to their mirror. So with longer handle brushes, you can't get too close because obviously you're going to hit the handle on the mirror. But with this one, it was designed so that you can get really close to your mirror. I do like the idea of being able to sort of stipple foundation in. The one thing I will say is, and I... Spoke to a lady yesterday, she was 
just turned 70 and I was trying to explain to her that you can't apply your foundation the same way now that you did when you were in your 20s, 30s, 40s, etc. Because your skin is different. It doesn't sit the same way. So you kind of have to switch up the way that you apply your foundation. And the one thing that I find, especially with more mature skin, is pressing the foundation into your skin by stippling instead of just going back and forth or up and down, whatever, or even using your hands. This brush is actually very manageable and I don't hate it at all. I actually kind of like this. Um, again, I do like the idea of being able to push the foundation into my skin. It's buffing it in nicely. I like it. So, um, this brush retails at $39.97. It's on Amazon. I'll link it below so that you guys can kind of look at some of the information for yourself. They did give me um, three brushes or two brushes. Yeah, they gave me two brushes to give away. So um, I'll talk a little bit more about that at the end of the video. But honestly, I like this brush. It's really very nice. My foundation looks really good. It looks really good. If you're not partial to short handles, you may not like it, which I'm not, a, like I said before, I'm not a, a fan of short handle brushes, but I actually do like this. And I'm not just saying that. And I'm not getting paid for my opinion. They just sent me the brush to review. I don't have to say I like it, but I do like it. So, oh, and it comes in this little case too, which is kind of cute. So it just kind of like plops right in there. Very convenient. I'm going to fill in my eyebrows and I'm trying to use up my Anastasia Brow Wiz. I'm just going to fast forward through this part because I feel like brows are so boring anymore. And to be honest with you, doing my eyebrows and putting my mascara on are my two least favorite things. So we're just going to fast forward through this. Okay, my eyebrows are done. I'm going to use my Marc Jacobs palette today that my friend Beth sent to me. This is the Siren palette, and I've been wanting to use this. Look at how cute. Like, it's in this little... I think it's just adorable. Is this still available? I don't know. Um, I'll look it up. If it is, I'll link it down below. But the colors just speak to me. They are summery, and right now I need a little bit of summer. It's June 1st, like I said. It's cold outside. It is... Hold on, I will tell you the temperature... 48 degrees. It's 48 degrees. It's June 1st. Awesome. It's also the first day of my vacation. Even more awesome, right? That it's freezing outside. Okay, so I'm going to use a little bit of a paint pot, and I think I'm just going to use painterly. I'm just going to keep it simple today, and I'm just going to apply that with my finger. This is what painterly looks like. If you don't know, it's from MAC. For people that have, like, dry eyelids, I guess you don't necessarily need to use um, a base but I feel like bases even if you don't have oily lids I feel like a base just makes your eyeshadow look so much better if you ever get a chance to go to a matte counter and if you've never used a paint pot before take a little bit of a paint pot and put it on your hand okay actually you know what I'm just gonna do it right now so literally I'm just putting my finger in like that I'm taking about that much okay and I'm gonna put it on my hand right here so it is there it's kind of hard to see because it blends in with my skin so I'm gonna take um, I'm gonna take this garnet color and I'm gonna put it on my skin that doesn't have the paint pot on it so here it is okay so it's pretty you can see it it sits nicely when you put it on over the top of a paint pot and you'll see here the difference see how much more intense it is the color is truer it just looks better than sitting on just regular skin. So if you think about your eyelid and if you're not putting a base on, whether you're oily or not, if you're not putting a base on, you're not getting that true color. See what I mean? So that's how, you know, that's what I tell people when they're not sure about a base or they're like, eh, I don't need it. I'm like, yeah, actually you do need it. Okay, so Obviously, I'm going to start off with a little bit of saddle because saddle is my jam and I need a little bit of that in my crease. This is what saddle looks like. It is from MAC. It is a warm brown that has like a little bit of, I would say, an orangey undertone. That's going to go through my crease. And of course, if you have deep set eyes, you must take it above, just up onto the brow bone. 
You don't have to take it up too, too far, but in order for that color to show, it does need to be applied above the crease. Okay, so from the palette, we are going to use these colors here. It's going to be kind of like a sunset. Quite literally, we're going to go in this order, so inner corner, lid, and then outer corner. So I'm going to go ahead and just start with the outer corner. I guess because these are all the same finish, it doesn't really matter, but that's just kind of what I'm used to doing. So I'm going to press this in out here. I love sunset type, like summery sunset looking colors, you know, those brilliant oranges and the reds and the yellows. I think it's so pretty. And then I'm going to use my 221 brush from MAC. If you don't know what it looks like, that's what it looks like. I'm just going to go right into the crease and start to blend that over. I love this brush. If you haven't gotten this brush, you need to get this brush. Alright, the next color is going to be this one here. So I'm going to switch my brush and I'm going to use a little pencil brush here. So when I do looks like this, I like for the colors to just sort of blend together seamlessly. So what I'll do is, you see how I'm just kind of pulling that yellow onto the orange? Just so that the colors don't abruptly stop. See there? Alright, so originally I had planned on just kind of keeping it like this and maybe pulling a little bit of that red along the bottom. But I think what I'm going to do is make this fun, right? And add a little bit of that teal blue, this color, along the bottom. So I'm going to take this uh, eye pencil here. It's from MAC. It's called So There Jade. It is a PowerPoint. And that is what it looks like. Right there. So that's going to go along my lower lash line. I'm going to use my 212. This is actually a custom MAC 212 that I customized myself. You see how it has a little bit of an angle on it? The reason I did that was because it was so splayed, like I cut all the bristles off the end and then I ended up making it at an angle. So anyway, I'm going to go into that teal color and I'm going to press that all over my lower lash line here. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm getting right on top of my lower lashes and I'm pressing the eyeshadow in. And then I'll go under the lashes. So I think that's pretty. It's like the ocean and then the sun setting on the horizon. Oh, I am so smart. Do you guys like my earrings? They're Boba Fett. A friend of mine got them for me from Hot Topic. I have these and uh, Darth Vader. Aren't those cute? I like them. I wasn't going to line my eyes, but I feel like now I need to. So, oh, you guys know how much I enjoy wearing eyeliner. Actually, maybe I'll just use a pencil and I'll kind of like... I don't know what to do. Okay, I am going to line. I'm going to use a little bit of feline. Feline will move a little bit easier. Um, I probably won't make as much of a mess, and I'll do like a little bit of a wing. So feline is just a black eye coal. And that is from MAC. I'm going to use my little 208. This is actually an eyebrow brush, but I like to use it because it's small and I feel like I have a lot of control with it. And I am in fact tugging on my eyeball. Oh, I got something in my eye. Then I'm going to come out here and 
sharpen that up a little bit. Ooh, maybe I'll leave it that long. What do you think the chances are of me being able to do that on the other side? Slim to none, right? Okay, my liner is on, and that wasn't too too horribly painful. I got it done pretty quick. Um, I always have trouble. You guys have trouble on one side more than the other, and I feel like most of the time I have trouble over here. This side's easy, this side not so much. So I got a new eyelash curler. This one is a sh from Shu Amura. So this is another boring part that I don't like to show because... Who needs to watch somebody putting their mascara on? So we're going to fast forward through this part as well. Okay, for my under eye area, I'm going to use my MAC Studio uh, Conceal and Correct Duo. And I'm going to try the pink side. It's called Pale Pink. And I normally use my uh, Pixie Peach Corrector in here. But I'm going to use this one today to see if I like it. This is pretty brightening, so maybe I'll get a nice sort of brightening effect on my under eye area too. And then I'm going to do something that I don't normally do, which is use my Studio Finish Concealer in NW20. Um, I don't like to use this because I feel like it settles into my lines, but I'm going to use this side here on that same brush. This is just one of those cheapo brushes that I got off of Amazon that I actually like quite a bit. Actually, let's try the new foundation brush for um, my concealer. And, ugh, I never do this, but I'm going to use my finger to put it on. And I'm just going to get right in here. Oh, I like that. And I'm honestly, I'm surprised at how easily I can blend out my concealer with this big brush. But again, I think it's because of the way that it's it's kind of like on a narrow side, so I can get really close to my lash line, but also make sure that it's nicely blended out underneath too. I like it. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. The only thing is, like, you can't get. I can't get like too too close to the inner corner here. I suppose I could, but I don't really want to mess up my uh, eyeshadow. So a smaller brush is good for sort of getting into that inner corner, but I feel like for blending it out, and if you're the kind of person that likes to blend out your concealer and take it down kind of low for a little bit of a highlight, this is a nice brush. And I'm also going to use it with a little bit of my Becca Bronzing Skin Perfector, and I'm going to put a little bit of this on my hand. Then I'm going to place it with my finger, and I'm kind of going above, whoops, I'm getting it in my hair, I'm, gonna, I'm kind of going above where um, a normal contour line would be, because I don't really want to contour, I just want to add some, um, a little bit of a bronze look, so I'm kind of going like right on my cheekbone here. And I did wipe the brush off uh, before I put this one in to blend it, just so that the concealer was off. So I'm using it to bronze more so than I am to contour. But I could see how easily this would be, or how easy this would be to use for contour, because it blends it out nicely. And then some up on my forehead. I like that. What a nice little brush. Somebody's going to be happy. Two, two of you are going to be happy to have this brush. So I'm going to use my damp beauty blender. So I'm just going to press this in right underneath to set my concealer. And then to powder all over, I'm going to use a little bit of my Ben Nye Cameo Powder. And I just powdered in the areas where I didn't have the bronzer because I'm actually going to go over it with my NARS Laguna bronzer. Duh. And then on this uh, crown, what is this, Royal? I can't remember. Royal Crown, I think. I don't know. I've had it for a while. A little bit of my NARS Laguna bronzer, and I'm just going to go right over the top of the Becca bronzer that I put on. And then I'm going to use a little bit of blush. I don't know. Should I? I kind of feel like I like the way it looks with just the bronzer. Maybe I'll take my bronzer over a little bit further. I really do just like using my bronzer for blush. 
I feel like anytime I put blush on, I just, I don't know, I ruin the whole look. You guys can tell me what you think, but I just really am more partial to using my bronzer as my blush. So that's what we're going to do today. Then I'm going to use a little bit of MAC Cheeky Bronze. Uh, I really like this highlight a lot. It's kind of like a uh, rose gold. It's really very pretty. And I'm going to apply that with my Sigma F35. I'm just going to go right over the top to add a little bit of a glow. And I feel like with my eye look, this is really pretty. And plus, because it does have a little bit of a, a pink tone to it, it kind of doubles as like a blush and a highlight. I think it's really pretty. And then for my lips, I'm going to use Runway Hit which is a matte finish. It's from MAC. And I'm really happy that they're coming out with this now. It's going to be permanent, so I can wear this as much as I want. That's what it looks like. I'm going to use a little bit of Sore Lip Liner to go with it. I need to find like the perfect lip liner for this lipstick, but for now I'm just going to kind of stick with Sore, and that's what Sore looks like. Okay, and then I'm going to put a little bit of Smile Dazzle Glass from MAC over the top. Okay, so we are all done with today's look. I really like this palette, this Marc Jacobs Siren palette. It's so pretty. The colors are really pigmented. It doesn't take much. Like, I can understand why people love Marc Jacobs. Um, there is nothing about this that I could ever complain about. Um, just applies beautifully, blends well. The colors are nicely pigmented. And look at how pretty. I think it's pretty. I love the whole, like, sunset look and then with the blue on the bottom and again i'm really excited that runway hit is now going to be permanent along with a bunch of other matte lipsticks right now they're available on the mac website but who's excited for whirl whirl lipstick like that took forever and a day for them to figure out right so anyway i hope you guys like my look for today i think it's pretty it reminds me of summertime which i am so ready for it's hard to believe that it's june 1st and it's 48 degrees outside but whatever that's what it's like living in the north right so I just wanted to say that I am very excited that I have the opportunity to start reviewing more products and having more giveaways. It's really cool to be able to share this stuff with you guys. So like I said earlier, I have two of the, where is it? The, uh, I got powder all over it. The Jacqueline Collab, Caleb, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, brushes to give away. I applied my foundation and I blended out my concealer and I put my uh, cream bronzer on with this and it performed beautifully. I have nothing negative to say about this brush I like that. It's kind of nice to stipple. It's a nice soft brush. It's dense the bristles are synthetic So it doesn't absorb a lot of your product So I feel like this is a good all-around brush for those of you that either don't want to use a lot of brushes or your budget doesn't allow for a ton of brushes um, or you just like to keep it simple and have one brush that you can use for multiple purposes. So this definitely is um, an ideal product in my opinion. So I'm going to have, uh, obviously I'm going to give away two of these brushes. And I'm just going to keep it simple like I always do. Just uh, leave in the comments below uh, why you feel that this brush would work perfect for you. Whether you're the kind of person that likes to travel or you like to get multiple use out of one brush. Whatever the case may be, make sure you leave it down below in the comments. Again, you have to be a subscriber, duh. Uh, make sure you're subscribed, comment below. So I just wanted to say thank you to all of my new friends here, all of the new subscribers. I'm very happy to have you here. If you are just coming across this video because you were interested in the Marc Jacobs palette um, or the new brush, uh, please take the time to hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. You guys can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram and I will leave that information down below. So thank you guys so much for watching and taking the time out of your day to spend with me and watch my video. Um, have a great day and I will see you guys all again very soon. Bye.